Hello there everybody, this is Night Yoshi here and today let's play Tiny Toon Adventures on the NES. So for those of you who don't know, this is a platformer game on the original Nintendo system that's actually quite fun. Plays a bit like the Super Mario Brothers games and here's our story. While Buster Bunny relaxed at home, Montana Max suddenly appears on the TV. Unfortunately I can't speed up the text so sorry. Hey Buster, I've kidnapped Babs Bunny. Help me, Buster, help! Help me! Come on, Buster, come and get her! What should I do? I have to help Babs quickly! So go help her, why are you just standing there staring at the TV angrily? But anyways, uh, let's get this started, and as you can see from the map here, there are six worlds. And here we have Shirley the Loon. Hi, I'm Shirley the Loon. I am a fortune teller. Please choose your partner. Use the control pad, then press the A button to decide. Yes, because I need a fortune teller to explain that to me. See you later. But anyways, here's the game. As you can see, the level design looks a bit like uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, but that's okay. Super Mario Bros. 3 is a great game as well. I'm not sure which one I would say I like more. Probably Super Mario Bros. 3, but this is a really fun game. Uh, there's really not much to explain with this level, so sorry I'm not talking about the level, but what I just picked up now is a character token that will let you switch to your partner. Unfortunately, it's not like Donkey Kong Country where, you know, you have both partners on screen at the same time. Now you need a character token to switch between the two, which is a little disappointing. But then again, this came out before Donkey Kong Country, so I guess it was a new thing at the time. And I don't remember the vulture's name. I... I probably should have looked that up before I started this, but oh well. So currently I'm playing as Dizzy Devil. Uh, Dizzy Devil, in all honesty, is probably the worst character to play as in this game, so give me that character token. I'd say Buster is probably third overall, because uh, Plucky Duck and Furball the Cat in particular are amazing in this game, and we will be seeing them later on. But anyways, here's Hampton. Hi, I'm Hampton. Collect as many carrots as possible. You will get extra player if you collect 30 carrots. How many carrots do you have? Um, a few. Try to get more. So yeah, that's the whole reason you're collecting the carrots. Uh, there is one other reason to collect the carrots as well, but uh, I'll discuss that when we reach it. So the controls are pretty simple. If you hold the B button, you can run. Unless you're playing as Dizzy Devil. Uh, if you're playing as Dizzy Devil, they just spins. Which is good for attacking enemies and whatnot, I guess, but I prefer having a run button. And uh, at the end of every second level, um, there's this Elmira minigame. And we basically want to avoid her, because if she catches us, then we have to go back to the beginning, and that would suck. So again, the- Oh no! No! Ah, oh, no! No! I swear I didn't mean to demonstrate this. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, well, I'm going to cut ahead, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, let's get it right this time. I am not going to get caught by her again. Sometimes the door is just really picky and it won't let you go through, and that's why these mini games can be kind of annoying. Uh, they get much worse later on, though, so I'm not looking forward to them. I still can't believe that happened. Oh, well. I guess the good news is I got to go through the level again and get some more lives and points and whatnot. And I apologize if my voice sounds a little weird. My nose is a little stuffy right now. Right now. Uh, that balloon back there was a character token, and I do not want to be Dizzy Devil right now, so... Not going to be getting that. So this is uh, level 3 of World 1, and... Uh, i definitely say it's the hardest of World 1, but honestly, World 1 is a, pretty much a cakewalk. I mean, the, the game isn't entirely easy. Worlds 4 and 6 in particular are a nightmare, but we'll get to them when we get to them. And, yep. So I guess uh, you probably want to know some of the differences between the characters. Uh, Dizzy Devil I already talked about a little bit. Uh, he can spin, which he can use to attack enemies. Um, he can jump. He can't run, though, which is why I say he's the worst, in my opinion. And Go through the door, Buster. There we go. Buster, I'd say, is third best, because he can jump the highest. He might also run the fastest, I don't know. Well, we'll get back to that, because now it's time for the boss. And 
and uh, this guy's really easy and that all you gotta do is jump on his head three times and that's it there's two uh, obviously avoid the anvils he's throwing but there you go nice and simple and there's a key which we will need to get into Montana Max's uh, mansion at the world six so yep and excuse me why I blow my nose Alright, so on to World 2. And back to Shirley the Loon. Hi, I'm Shirley the Loon. I am a fortune teller. We've been over this. Please choose your partner. Use the control pad and press the A button to decide. Again, I know this. Please go with Lucky Duck to the next adventure. Well, you are a bit of a obvious one. Captain Obvious, I should say. But I'll take Plucky anyways, because Plucky's really good. I'd say he's probably the second best. Uh, well, it really depends on what world you're playing on, who's the best partner. Um, just to give an example, uh, World 3 in particular, Dizzy is really good at. And, uh, yeah. Well, he's really good for this level, especially for level 2, uh, because he swims better than anybody else. Uh, with everybody else, you have to swim normal style by pushing the button, or I should say Mario style by pushing the A button to swim and whatnot. With Plucky though, all you, ha all you have to do is move left and right, up and down, and there you go. So, he's a really good swimmer, he can fly. So, you're probably wondering, why is he my second favorite to play as then? Well, you'll find out in a bit. But anyways, back to Buster. He can jump higher than all the other characters. I'm pretty sure he runs faster too, but it could be wrong. And, uh, that's about it. He's the most basic all-around character, but, you know, I still like his uh, ability to run over Dizzy's uh, ability to spin. But anyways, this is level 2, it's a water world, the only water world in this game, actually. I guess they knew that most people don't like water worlds. Uh, yeah, the thing that sucks about these this water world in particular is you're pretty much defenseless. Uh, yes, you can do this tornado attack that I just did, but the problem is it misses about, I'd say, 80% of the time, so... It's pretty worthless if you ask me. Ugh, my darn nose is feeling all stuffy again. I should wait on this, but oh well. To the left is a uh, balloon with a character switch token, which I do not want, because Buster is not the best swimmer in this game. Plucky is. Granted, uh, he, he wasn't always my he wasn't my favorite character in the show. Uh, Buster was always my favorite back in the day when I watched Tiny Toon Adventures. Uh, speaking of which, if you've never seen Tiny Toon Adventures, you should really get on it, because it's a, it's a fantastic series. Um, dare I... Ah, oh, darn it, I got hit. <laughs> dare I say it, I actually like it more than Animaniacs. Oh yeah, I just said that. Sue me, why don't you? But anyways, swim to the top here, and that's the end of the water world. Thank goodness, because water worlds aren't, aren't often that fun. So here we got an Elmira minigame, and this one in particular is a lot tougher than the first one. You see down there is where the exit's going to appear, right in the middle. But, uh, so the second there is hard- oh crap! Oh man, I, I really thought I was going to get caught there. Uh, to get get there without getting caught by Elmira is kind of hard. Oh, oh god, thank goodness. That was really close. Yeah, I'm struggling to talk right now because of my darn nose. I really should wait on this, but what can I say? I'm in the mood to play this game, so I'm playing this game. Now, Plucky Duck is amazing for level 3 here because you can totally cheat the system here and just fly over this entire section. And you can keep going all the way to the next section, too, so... Plucky Duck, you are amazing. I still say Furball is probably my favorite overall because of his amazing ability, but... We won't see that till next part in World 4. Oh, how I hate World 4. I am not looking forward to playing that. The hearts, uh, I'm pretty sure you already noticed it before, but they give you an extra hit, because if you get hit once, you die. But if you have a heart, then you can get hit twice. So it's kind of like getting a mushroom in uh, Super Mario Brothers, for example. It gives you one extra hit. And these uh, Roderick Rats, I believe they're called, I... Yeah, I can't remember all the characters' names from the show. I do love the show, and I've watched quite a few episodes recently, but I can't remember the names of everybody. Only really the main characters. 
But anyways, I'm trying to be careful here because uh, that's those spikes fall, including that one. And that's another reason why you might want to be Plucky Duck for this level, because you can just fly back and forth and make it a lot easier. Uh, by the way, don't touch these barrels here. For whatever reason, the barrels hurt you. I have no idea why. I don't know if there's, like, gunpowder in them or what. I don't know. It's video game slash cartoon logic, so I don't know why I'm questioning it. But here's the second world boss, just a pirate guy. Uh, the first boss I actually do re recognize from the show. I don't remember his name, though. This guy, though, I don't recognize from the show. Um, I have all the DVDs of uh, Tiny Toon Adventures, Volumes 1 through 4. I uh, don't have how I spent my summer vacation yet, but I'll get on that eventually. But anyways, I don't know who that character is. I don't know if he's originally made for this game or what. And he's pretty simple. Again, just jump on his head three times, avoid the barrels. I didn't really talk about him much, but honestly, this game's pretty simple, so there's not a whole lot to talk about, unfortunately. So... I do apologize about that. But anyways, this is going to do it for part one. So in part two, we will be going through worlds three and four. And uh, for world three, we will be taking Dizzy Devil with us. So I will see you all then.